I'm struck by how brave this woman was over 2,000 years ago. I'm told to leave the old for new. I come to say goodbye to you. This is what Zhu Wenjun said to her husband when he informed her of his intent to take a concubine. If I'd wed one with single heart, even white-haired, we would not part. The writer Zhu Wenjun famous for her feminine bravery in pursuing free love in Chinese history, came from one of the wealthiest families at the time. She braved her family's objections and eloped with Sima Xiangru despite his poor lower-class birth. To make ends meet, she even ran a wine shop which was considered unbecoming for a woman of her birth at the time. But her husband, after rising to higher social status by securing a job in the government, fell in love with another girl and wanted to take the girl as a concubine. However, believing in fidelity in marriage, Zhuo Wenjun refused to share her husband with another woman. So she sent three reproving poems to her faraway husband. Sima Xiangru was so deeply moved and ashamed that he returned with her, living together until their old age. At a time when concubinage was a common practice in ancient China, Zhuo Wenjun's insistence on the purity of love made her avant-garde among her contemporaries. The three poems also became Zhuo Wenjun's masterpieces and representative works of breakup poems in Chinese history. If your love were constant and true, why so much money to go through? When in love, she was brave enough to dare worldly prejudices. When relationship went bad, she was still brave to speak up her feelings. A woman, no matter at what time, should have the courage to pursue love and defend love, rather than humbling back for love. The elasticity in dealing with love is the greatest lessons we learned from Chinese poetess Zhuo Wenjun.